Hey guys, and welcome back to Idle On. And today we are going to be opening up some ovals here in the shop because, well, they're in the shop, and I didn't know about that that they had these packs in there, and they seem to have some pretty powerful ones in them that are not really ovals I've seen before. So I kind of want to buy some and just like see what they are and um, how much more powerful they are. Uh, these premium obols that you can get from the shop and really how worth it uh, they might be just to give you an idea of what you could get now check that out uh, i got a 12 hour time candy there uh, from guild gifts which was pretty solid i think because i've had all my bank slots full i keep like not getting guild gifts for a while which is kind of bad so i need to be better about that but yeah, I'm, I'm really interested here to see what these ovals are going to look like. So here is our first pack, like quality oval stack. So there's like this one and then there's like a premium one, which has a better chance of like dementia and platinum ovals, I think. So here's what I got currently. Don't really have anything super special of other than the uh, silver one of double sixes and a gold attack one that I rolled. So first one up. We got a gold uh, square fishing oval. Uh, golden oval of crazy carp. Uh, three fishing power and plus two strength. So not sure what I'm going to do with that one just yet because... Oh yeah, I'll actually take it back. I'll put it on this character probably because this is actually my fishing character. So that one will go here and not as a family upgrade since it's just a skill specific thing. For this character i'll try and save the family ones for like the best ones i can get that are just sort of general uh use uh abilities and attributes so now let's do the marvelous oval stack and uh see what we can get out of this one this one should be really interesting oh i see a purple and i see a blue and a gold well, this one looks pretty good, guys. What did we get? Um, I think we got a gold wisdom oval. Plus four wisdom, that's solid. So uh, I will just go ahead and replace the silver one in my family upgrades. And then what else did we get? We got, I believe it was a hexagon. Yeah, it was a hexagon, I think, that we just got here. I'm going to deposit some of the extra ones I have first before we do that. So I have some space here. Uh, trying to get rid of duplicates, but it's kind of hard because I never know fully what I'm going to need in the future. So here's the hexagon. And then we do have also have a sparkles one as well. So platinum oval of defense with an S. Uh, 15 defense. Plus 15 defense seems pretty solid i'm definitely going to put that into the family slot uh just seeing what the cost to re-roll it is i'm not going to actually re-roll it it's mostly a lot of parts it's not as much in the uh, money department it's more of the 16 pieces so i have a slot for that plus 15 defense that's pretty cool i didn't have anything for that slot before so that's pretty sweet to get something to go there So there's that one, and then the final one, the sparkles, uh, Dementia Oval of Pop Pop Pop, plus 12 luck, uh, plus 9% drop chance, 5 defense. The problem is I need level 650 in order to apply that one, and I'm actually at like 629 or something like that. I'm pretty close. Really, I need to get my final character created, which I can do, and uh, that would get me up there. So that one will be coming soon. Golden Oval of Multi-Kill and Poppity Pop. Those ones, those ones both look pretty solid. I'll probably just put them on my main for right now. My active character. And uh, maybe reorganize later. So my slots are all full now. 
So I'm pretty happy with these pulls so far. Uh, pretty solid ones. I've gotten a good number of gold obols and uh, I also got a gold luck obol. And I got obviously the dementia one and the uh, platinum one. And the platinum one, especially because I was able to actually put it in there. Uh, plus 15 defense across the board, across all my characters. It seems pretty solid. I don't know if I'll need that or not in the future, but it seems nice to have for sure. Anything that makes me have to use less food or worry about food less uh, could be a good thing. So less micromanagement. So let's get another marvelous stack and see what this one can do. And there's another Dementia and two Golds. And the Dementia one is actually a Luck Oval plus 12 Luck and plus one Weapon Power. That's interesting. Uh, but as it turns out, the Multi-Kill also has a plus one Weapon Power. So I don't know what I'll put. I might leave the Multi-Kill one in the Family slot and put the Dementia one on my Journeyman. For that maximum luck bonus should be a pretty big luck bonus that my j-man's gonna have now so let's go ahead and uh do that so under squares there it is and very nice very nice that's and then i have three gold uh, luck ovals as well there and then I could have another square one as well so plus th I have 350 luck on my J-Man at level 79 so it's coming along it's coming along solid progress does what it says 12 luck so very nice um yeah, overall, I mean, these obols, like, they're they're interesting. Uh, I mean, you could get some good ones. You could get some bad ones. That's kind of the problem with spending gems on them. They're really kind of just an extra thing. I don't know if I'd uh, go for these over anything more important. There are some more 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 important upgrades, certainly with gems. So you got to take that. Take these rolls with a grain of salt because you could get something better. You could get something worse. One more roll there. Got a square uh, woodcutting one and a square catching and then a wisdom so lots of gold ones i also have that platinum strength obel not sure how i missed that one uh, but sometimes they drop on top of each other so you can't really see until you collect them but some of these are fairly unique benefits like the uh sparkling one i got with the plus nine percent drop rate like that's fairly unique and uh, some of them have weapon power bonuses and then plus 15 defense across all my characters is kind of nice. So I don't know. It just depends if you get lucky whether or not these are worth it. So yeah, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. And maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys then.